Hello guys, what is going on? Bit of a different setting today. I'm actually in my work van, uh, still at work. I've only got half a day though, so it's all good. We're going to be going to the Lego store today. I'm going with some friends and family just to have a nice little uh, shop about, some re do some retail therapy. Um, yeah, so really looking forward to that. Um, and I'll just give you a little bit of a teaser. I will be buying either the Lego Avengers Tower or the Rivendell set. So I'm really excited. To be honest, I'm just going to kind of go there and in the kind of heat of the moment, I'm going to decide which one I would prefer. I think I know which one I'm kind of leaning towards at the moment. But um, yeah, not 100% sure. So we're going to go there, just have a little look around. Okay, so we're on our way to the Lego store. We're going to see what there is in stock. Hopefully they have the Avengers Tower or the Rivendell set. Because I will be buying one of them today, so yeah, we'll just have to see what we've got. So yeah, looking forward to it. It's nice to actually have a fair bit of money to spend for once. So yeah, let's see what we've got. We have Rivendell. This is definitely one that I've been had my eye on for some time. I do love the Natural History Museum though. Like that is really cool. It's my favourite museum in London, so that's a possibility. Avengers Tower. Box is a bit battered up, but uh, you know what, guys? I think I might actually have to grab the Avengers Tower. I think that's the one I'm going to go for. Some of the new Lego sets, new Star Wars ones. The old Venator. I do like. Why do you think I prefer the look of Avengers Tower? So, I think we'll pick this one up. Mm. It's a bit of a bummer. I wanted to pick up the uh, Build of R2. Mainly for that guy, the Darth Malak minifigure. Shame, I'll have to wait for another day. It's interesting, that's out of stock. The uh, Tented 4 hallway. Interesting. Such a nice looking set, that one. Yeah, so doing some shopping, and this is why you always check out other stores. Usually 150 in the Lego store, which is what I just saw, now it's 120 here, so I'll be grabbing this. Uh, and these are just selling for retail. Well, this one's twenty pounds. It's pretty good. Not too bad at all. That's why it's just so important to check out. Look, forty-eight pounds down to thirty-eight. Ten pounds off. Five pounds off each battle pack. Um, Jurassic Park sets, all on discount. Yeah, that's why you always check out other stores, guys always check out other stores. Okay, so we're back from the Lego store and my word, did I make a big purchase. So here we have it guys, the Lego Avengers Tower. This is the set that I decided to go with. Um, at the beginning of the vlog, I said that I'd be picking up either this one or Rivendell, but I went for the Avengers Tower just because I, I just love the look of it. I think, to be honest, I've got no room for it here in my Lego room. Um, so it's, this is actually gonna have to go downstairs in my living room. And I just thought this might be a bit of a better display piece um, going next to my TV and sound system. Um, I think this one looked a little bit better. And there's just a few things I really wanted to talk about with this Lego set. But just something I really wanted to bring to your guys' attention is that if you don't have um, this kind of expendable money, you don't have £430, uh, the minifigures, and there are tons you'll be able to see here, there's tons of minifigures. All these minifigures, if you were to sell them, you can get about £250 for them on eBay. Um, so maybe, you know, take off some fees, you'd get about £220 back. Well, I think that's a substantial amount in terms of just minifigures, if you just sold these minifigures. 
So if you, you do say you want the Avengers Tower and you don't want to have to pay £430, well, obviously you have to pay in the first place, but if you then choose to sell the minifigures, you'd be getting this set for a little over £200, which, in my opinion, that is fantastic value for money. I mean, just look at this amazing set. I, I can't wait to start building it. So, yeah, there's a little tip for you guys. If you haven't got the money to, um, you know, to spend on on this Lego set, um, then you could always buy it and sell the minifigures because let's face it, basically everyone has got doubles of like say Loki, Iron Man, Captain America, uh, Thor, Hulk, you know, we've all got these minifigures and tons of them. So, you know, we probably, if you're not that bothered about having all the exclusive minifigures such as uh, Vision and I do believe War Machine and a few of the other Iron Man suits, uh, there are some exclusive minifigures and big figs in this set. But if you're not that bothered, then I would recommend maybe selling them. Um, so you can at least get your hands on the Avengers Tower. And, you know, it's going to be a real head turn if you do grab uh, this set. I just can't wait to build it myself. So, yeah, so this was the first Lego set we picked up. The second Lego set we grabbed was the June Royal Atreides Ornithopter. This was a really cool looking set. I've wanted to get my hands on the June Ornithopter for some time now. I'm a big fan of the movie. I saw number two, and again, that was phenomenal. Um, so I really did want to pick this up. But in my opinion, this Lego set isn't worth £150. And I know that for a fact that it's going to be on sale. And lo and behold, it was. I mean, the, the other sticker came off. But um, if you saw earlier in my uh, vlog, this was £120 in game. Or it was in John Lewis, but uh, John Lewis... Uh, most of the department stores have a little game section where they sell lots of Lego. Um, yeah, so I grabbed this for £120, which I, I think is far more reasonable. But yeah, it's a fantastic looking Lego set. The main reason I bought it, though, was for the lineup of minifigures. I mean, they're just absolutely phenomenal. I think my favourite is probably the Duplato, um, the Baron Harkonnen and um, Gurney Halleck. I think them three minifigures really stand out. This is... A phenomenal looking Lego set and it's a lot bigger than I thought in uh, real life I saw it in the uh, Lego store I don't know if I I can't remember if I took the video of it um, but it's a lot bigger this um, the ornithopter so no idea where I'm going to put it I'm going to have to have either a little bit of a clear out or uh, yeah swap a few, few things around probably put a lot of the boxes in the loft um, but yeah can't wait to get building this either but I think first on the menu is the Avengers Tower we're going to build that, and I mean, goodness knows how many hours that's going to take me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I had an absolute blast going into the Lego store, uh, picking up Avengers Tower. It was an absolute highlight as a fan for me. Also, I will just mention that I'm doing a giveaway at the end of April, so if you want a chance to win a brand new and sealed rare Bilbo Baggins poly bag, then all you have to do is simply be subscribed to the channel and comment on this video uh, to be with a chance of winning. So the winner will be announced later in April. But yeah, please do uh, subscribe and comment on this video to be in with a chance of winning that and i'll be in contact with you at the end of april once again though guys thank you so much for watching this video hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you on the next one